I'm Jenny Edwards. I'm the Managing Director and Lead Scientist at Lighthouse Architecture and Science. We're really focused on energy efficient housing. Energy efficiency, of course, can reduce your energy bills. We find just draft sealing and insulating alone can often reduce energy bills by as much as 30%, sometimes more in really leaky houses. There's improvements to your physical and mental health from your home becoming more comfortable. It really will help you survive the heat waves as well as the, the bitter cold of mid-winter. Draft sealing your home has two big benefits. It stops the heat leaking out over winter and also hot air coming in in summer, but it also reduces the potential for external pollutants to come into your home, whether that's bushfire smoke or pollen during spring if you're um, a hay fever sufferer. Spend a few hundred dollars with gap filler and a corking gun and make a significant difference to your energy consumption and comfort. Permanent vents in the walls, ducted heating and cooling systems. Seal those up and you'll feel the difference for sure. Fireplaces in Canberra homes are also a huge source of air leakage. So we strongly encourage people to, to seal them off. When it comes to insulating, focus on the ceiling, then your walls and your floor. And in that order, heat rises, we want to stop it at the ceiling level. So insulate your ceiling really well. And then in a lot of old houses, it is possible to retrofit insulation into the walls. And then if you have a suspended timber floor and there's a bit of a gap underneath, insulate under there as well. Windows, they are the weakest point in the building envelope. Most of our houses have got single glazing. A lot of people are upgrading to double glazing and there's even the option of triple glazing. Use a timber or a UPVC frame or there is a thermally broken aluminium option. You can use better window dressings to improve the performance of windows. Solar passive design is really about making the most of the, the natural climate. In a new house, of course, it's easy to design for that, to face the house north and design your eaves appropriately so you get lots of free heat in winter, but you're shaded in summer. With an existing home, it's trickier, but there is still potential. So look at how the sun moves around your home and think about how you can take advantage of that free heat. If you have north facing windows, do open up the curtains and blinds to let that sun in over winter. Energy efficiency isn't just restricted to what you can do inside. When it comes to summer, you want to shade your house from the, the extreme heat of the sun. You can use your garden to shade those windows. So deciduous plantings are a really cheap and lovely way to shade. Retractable awnings or even shade cloth, bulldog clipped to the gutter. There, anything that stops the sun from striking the glass will reduce the heat gain through that window by about 80%. The next thing is to consider your appliances. Loads of Canberra homes have got gas heating. We don't need it. There are cleaner options. There are more efficient options. The heating and cooling via heat pumps. And then hot water heating. Again, heat pump technology does that super efficiently. When it comes to cooking appliances, switching to induction is super efficient, super responsive, better or just as good certainly as gas. We've helped get people off gas into all, all electric homes in existing houses and designed loads of new homes that are all electric. I haven't met anyone who regrets not having gas. Those three things combined with air tightness will massively improve your comfort and reduce your energy bills.